I'm here with my friend Jay Kinder, and let me tell you something. I don't know a lot of guys that own a Rolls Royce, but my friend Jay does. A Rolls Royce, I've never even been in a Rolls Royce, all right? I'm sitting here, I called Jay up, I'm like, hey man, I'm in Dallas, why don't you come see me? And so he's like, he's like, dude, I'm gonna come by, I'm gonna see you, we're gonna go, we're gonna hang out for a little bit. And this Rolls Royce pulls in to ballet, and I'm like, guaranteed that's Jay. Sure enough, who walks out of the freaking car? It's freaking Jay Kinderman. I'm like, no way. And so, now I get to see my very first Rolls Royce ever. I've literally never even been in one. You know how you sit in it? You know sit in it? Dude, like, I can't wait to see this. This is the coolest thing. First time ever in a Rolls Royce. Super cool experience. I can't wait to see what this is like. All right, hold on. Oh, okay, let's... Oh yeah, this is pretty sick. Okay, Rolls Royce Ghost. It's all, I can see that it's a ghost. Nice lamb's oil for me. Lamb's oil for me. Oh my gosh, look, get a close up of this. Look at this. Look at my fingers going into this carpet. It's lamb's wool. Are you kidding me? I feel like I feel like my shoes aren't expensive enough to even be on this carpet. Whoa, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at the ceiling. It's got all these LED lights all over the ceiling. This is like being in a disco in a car. Yeah. So yeah, every once in a while you'll see a shooting star. No way. Dude, yeah. and these seats. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, like a, it's a You're not kidding. It's my grocery getter. His grocery getter. I was I asking Jay. Jay's a believe it or not, he's a very down to earth guy, <laughs> and uh, and I'm like, dude, he's like, he's like, I'm not bougie at all. Okay, all right, yeah. sure, Jay. What do you say? Show us that watch. Where's that watch oh, at? Yeah. Look at this freaking watch, dude. Are you kidding me? He's not bougie no, at all. Not at all. No, I'm but country. He's country. So I'm like, so what do you do? You like throw the fish in the back of the the rolls yeah. here, like when fish you're going fishing? Fish What's the rolls in the back? So tell us the features yeah, about man, this. I don't know. That, I mean, it's a car. It's like any other car. I mean, it's it's really. It's, it's really fun to drive. It's it's uh, very comfortable, very heavy. It feels like you're on rails. Um, but yeah, outside of that, it's just a car, man. It's just uh, it's a nice to have. How you close the door? Oh, are you kidding me? The door just freaking closed automatically with a little a little button there. It opens and closes the door. Look at how I adjust my heated and cooled seat here. Okay, I'm gonna turn that all the way hot. Let's see if this thing gets hot. Tara likes hot seats. We're gonna see if this gets really hot or not. I can feel the heat warming me up throughout here, and I don't hear the heat at all. I don't right. hear the air flowing at all. Right. But it, it's just... Yeah, it's quiet. Dead yeah. quiet. Down the road, going down the road, dead quiet. Like, just super, super quiet car. A young person today, you know, in their 20s something, they wanna get into what you've got. They wanna have the success that you've had. What do they gotta do? Well, the uh, you know the secret to my success. First of all, I think it's important to find the right vehicle, right? So uh, it's funny. And by vehicle, you're not talking about the Rolls Royce. Not talking about the Rolls Royce. The right vehicle meaning that there's got to be a business that has margin, that has a high margin. Real estate was a great business to get into because you know you can make a ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar commission uh, learning how to sell one house, and you just do that over and over again. You can make a really good living. So I think there has to be the right margin in the business. There has to be an, an opportunity, and also uh, uh, I, you know love EXP because of that same opportunity. Mm -hmm. and the residual I love ACN and network marketing because of the compounding effect of, of not just the work you do but the uh, work others do and so yeah. um, I think those are those are good vehicles to create a lot of, a, a lot of income uh, so that's one thing but then you know for me it's always been you know finding someone who's at the level I'm trying to get to and finding a mentor that has not only done it themselves but have a track record of helping other people do it too. That means they have systems and processes for how they got there. They, you know, you're, you know, some people that have gotten there don't even know how they got there. And yeah. you really want a mentor that has a process that they can teach you and, and ideally has helped other people get there too. That's the evidence of, of a good mentor is someone who's gotten there. And there's gonna be always times and you know, you have to be humble and just know that you don't know what you don't know. If you're here and you're trying to get to here, there, what are all the ways to get there you might not know. A good mentor is gonna know what ways don't work what ways do work and probably some things that you never even thought of and so that's what I've done my entire life has gotten around people smarter than me it's not that hard to do but um, you know getting in the rooms with people that are that are smarter than you that are playing at a higher level and it, it sucks you up to the top we were just talking about this earlier mm -hmm. when you find that you vacuum up all the knowledge and suck all that knowledge up yeah. and then go go you know it's a shortcut right like if you're trying to figure it out on your own it's gonna be way harder and so that investment into myself investment into coaching training mentors mm -hmm. lots of money lots of money yep. but but it was the shortcut it was the fastest way to get there otherwise you know we're flawed in our thinking we you know and I think yeah. you, you have to approach everything knowing that 
you're probably wrong in what you think and that there's probably a better way and be open-minded and then, you know, be a good copycatter. I always joke, we used to joke, be like, copycatter number one, this is copycatter number two, over. You know, we we literally, and it's not, Jay Ram used to get mad at me when I'd say that because he's like, you're, you're devaluing the principle. It's, you're modeling success. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 but it sounds more fun when we say copycat. So, you know, but that's it. I think you want to make sure you have the right vehicle. I think you want to have the right mentors around you. You know, be humble, be hungry, and, and, and get around the right people, and then go do the work. It doesn't happen by accident. You know, there's... You know, I probably worked, you know, uh, seven days a week, 14 hour days for 15, 20 years. Um, and, you know, I did, you know, I did that so that I don't have to now. <laughs> That's what made it worth it. And watch this. Did, did it freak you out? Like, did, did, was it a big expense on your bank account when you bought this car or was it not a big deal? No, not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> you were no. telling me earlier, you yeah. kind of almost felt guilty when you bought it. You're like, yeah. this is not a big deal, right? Yeah, it's just a car, man. Like, yeah. you know, you know, um, you know, it could, I could buy any car, or whatever. That's fine. You know, um, I always wanted one. Like I, I always had a vision, and, and it actually showed Michael on my phone. I still have the picture of these two Rolls Royces that were parked together in a parking garage from like 2013. Mm -hmm. And when I came back from Puerto Rico, I didn't have a car here in the states, so so I looked online and I found the Rolls Royce, and I went down there and just bought it. You know, it's, it's so as Jay's talking about all this, guys, I, I just I really want everybody to think about, you know, the, the value of finding somebody who's been where you want to go. So you know, I'm doing this new stuff with this network marketing company on this insurance stuff. It's called ACN and it's been for us it's been working really, really well. But I can tell you that Jay's been a lot further down that road than I have, and so I'm learning from him the whole network marketing. I've never done network marketing before. Jay's done network marketing at the highest level before, and and, and so I call him up. I'm like, dude, I'm going to be in Texas. He, and I, you know, can can we get together for lunch? He's like, dude, I'll come to you. No big deal. I'm like, I'm like, first of all, I was really flattered that he would do that. But then he comes down here and he's been with me now for, you know, I don't know, we've been together for uh, well, about four hours here. And I feel like he literally shaved five years off my learning curve on this whole network marketing thing. I mean, literally, I'll be able to accomplish in two weeks what literally would have taken me at least two years to accomplish as a result of the four hours we spent together. If I had to put a number to it, I would bet that the four hours I spent with Jay just now probably will make me in the next five years... I'd say at least an extra twenty million dollars. Right? Would you agree? Yeah, that's I mean, probably very about, much so. Yeah, uh, I'd say it's very conservative uh, that we could say it would make me an extra twenty million dollars, and that's not counting the multiplication of when I make the money right. in this particular business. Now I'm going to take that money, I'm going to invest in real estate, and so if I multiply that by, I mean, it could easily this could easily have been a hundred million dollar day for me, and and it was because Jay was just willing to take the time and be cool, and he's not asking me to pay him anything nope. for. He's just a good guy, man. Like, and that's and that's what I'm saying. And what's really interesting, I think people have this misconception that that people at this level are a-holes, nothing can be further from the truth. The vast majority of the people that I know at this level are some of the nicest people you're ever going to meet. They're the most willing to help you. They understand the, the, the value of bringing value to others. And it's not, it's not about tit for tat. It's not about give to get. It's just give to give. And, and stuff will work out for you long term. And don't worry about it. You don't always have to have an agenda, I guess, is really kind of yeah. the bottom line. Yeah, add value. Um, one of my core values is adding value. Yep. And so like, if, if you can find a place where you can add value, the thing that's most rewarding for me is helping people that actually go do stuff. I wouldn't come down here if I thought it was just for intellectual entertainment. I know know you're a doer of yeah. any of all the people in the world I know I know you're a doer so That's like me. when you're asking questions I know that you're gonna come back to me next week and be like all right I did all that now what should I do like yeah. that, for me that's rewarding because I get to see the wins so yeah so you know do the work but adding value <laughs> to people's lives is you know the byproduct of everything that I've ever done the byproduct it has been is a byproduct of me adding value to people's lives, focusing on trying to help other people. And that's, you know, it was done to me. People helped me along the way. And, you know, it's my job to do it and, and add value to other people and pay it forward, so to speak. And so, um, yeah, find people like that in your life. And I'm telling you, he, he's right. The the people that you think are, are you know, the you know wealthy and not willing mm -hmm. to you know maybe you know too bougie whatever are probably the nicest people in the world and they would be happy to help you so don't be yeah. afraid to talk to people yeah and for two things about that first of all you, you know you were talking to me earlier about the neighborhood you live in down in puerto rico everybody in this neighborhood like they're all wealthy they've all done way more something. money than me <laughs> yeah like they've done really really well and they've done something very special and yet some of the most approachable people right. in the world, right? Yeah. Uh, and so, and, and second of all, you know, he's talking about, you know, Michael's gonna go implement what I taught him today and I'm gonna hear from him in a couple of weeks. You're not gonna just hear from me in a couple of weeks. 
I'm going to be at your house in yeah, a couple of weeks. let's go. I'm freaking coming down to Puerto Rico. Let's go. We're going to hit those jet skis, and I'm going to get my next lesson. There you and go. I'm, guys, I'm excited. Like, it's, I really, I just, if you don't know Jay, reach out to him. Like, just seriously, guys, you, this this is one of the nicest people on the planet. He's one of the smartest people on the planet. I'll tell you right now, he has forgotten more about marketing than I'll ever know. Uh, I, I don't know, and I know a lot of big-time marketers. I don't know anybody that knows marketing better than Jay. Like this is a guy you can learn so much from. Systems are phenomenal. I mean, and he's just, again, he's the nicest guy in the world. So if you don't follow him already on social media, jump on social, uh, find Jay Kinder on social media, just follow, give him a follow. Uh, anywhere else you want him to follow you? Yeah, uh, uh, probably on the gram, uh, Jay Kinder 82. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm here to help. So if you're if you're trying to do something and you want some help, I, I probably, if I don't know, I probably know somebody who does. So I'm happy to help if I can help you with anything. Dude, look at Jay Kinder driving out of here man look at this freaking car freaking awesome guy man if you don't know jay you need to follow that guy he's such a good guy yeah this thing look at him pulling out of here in that bad boy dude that is quite the car check this thing out there he goes ah look at that there he is inside there there's jay kinder for you right there baby yes <laughs> see you later brother all right dude check that guy out what a fun car Listen guys, you need to choose your mentors carefully. Find people that bring value. Find people that you trust, that you know are gonna be the kind of people that are gonna do things for the right reasons. They're gonna be there and when times are tough for you, they're gonna stand by you. They're gonna help you out. And uh, Jay's one of those guys. He's just such a good guy. So I hope you guys follow him. I hope you reach out to him. Yeah, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Yes.